Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today, for a month or so of Dino, I'm going to be doing a demo dip into the demo for Fallen World, a one-man project that is supposed to be a Jurassic Park-inspired first-person survival horror game, or survival slash horror, instead of survival hyphen horror. Let's check it out. Uh, it looks like it might be a little jank, but that is kind of the case when someone tries to do a solo, ambitious project like this. Alright, left click, crouch, sprint. But yeah, I feel like I've looked at some games similar to this before. After the storm wrecked the ship, I survived the night on the lifeboat, drifting in the sea aimlessly. I woke up and found myself in the shores of what seemed to be an island. What is this place? Wow, what a uh, beach. Okay, sensitivity pretty high. Can I change that? Nope, those are the only options. Okay, there's our boat. So this might actually be more of a walking sim, honestly. I don't know how much survival there's going to be in the survival horror, but, you know, there's only so many dinosaur games, so sometimes I have to kind of <laughs> dig for scraps. What was that terrible Trespasser remake attempt? It was like Intruder Ilosorna or something, where the T-Rex just flew into the air. Visually, this does look better than that, but that's not a high bar to pass, honestly. Restricted area, but there's an open gate. I mean, I assume because we have a stamina meter that we're going to have to run away from something. There might even be a dinosaur in this demo, based on the screenshots. I think this water is preventing me from sprinting. not a fan of the sprint for five seconds meter. Like, it really does not last. Okay. I was a little worried that we were going to have, like, multiple sections of just rocky corridor. Just like Jurassic Park. And maybe a little bit like Trespasser, because that, that Brachiosaur is looking a little wobbly. Well, I'll be damned, John Hammond. You actually did it. That neck actually does animate pretty well. It's not like clipping through itself or anything, which may not sound like much. That that actually is pretty impressive. <laughs> I love that little belly wobble, though. That's probably a little more jiggly than it should be. I've always wanted to crouch under a dinosaur and mildly irritate it. Looks a little small for Brachiosaur, though, don't you think? I'm about as tall as his leg. And we got more of them. I thought I saw something smaller around here. Okay, we can't go in the water at all. It's off limits. Also, the way the the back foot kind of like tilts up all the way looks pretty weird. 
Like, when they take a step with that foot, it kind of tilts upward before being flat when they should kind of stay flat. See, like that? That neck tilt actually does seem to be more of a fixed animation, though. As I walked away, I contemplated what I had witnessed. I was gazing on creatures that existed millions of years ago. Am I dreaming? What's going on in this island? Within this island? <laughs> Inside of it. I do hope that the game, the final game, is not intended to be just a series of screens like this, where it's just like, okay, fade to black, okay, now you're somewhere else. Not sure why this radio is so stinky. Like, it sounds like there's supposed to be a corpse next to this from, like, the buzzing of flies, but it's just a radio that I can't interact with. Sounds like we've got a carnivore. Or not. I don't know if it's going to show up. Carnivore, carnivore, come digest me. Maybe. Mm, no. Well, well, I see long grass ahead, so that's probably where it's going to show up. Because as we know, we should always stay out of the long grass when there's chance of raptors. Ah, now this makes more sense to have flies. Maybe the flies were playing over the radio. <laughs> I mean, they were so hungry they ate his pelvic bone, which I don't even think they're capable of. Physicist. Dr. Philip Morgan. Cypher Corp. Wait, I can't. Ela Occulta. <laughs> don't run. What? I didn't even get to finish reading <laughs> instructions before it killed me. It said, don't run, walk backwards. I think I'm supposed to stare it down. Oh, I didn't even see it. Walk backwards while facing the raptor. Like a librarian in Metro, as long as we keep eye contact, it will rush us. It will not rush us. Okay, sprinting backwards also doesn't count. I guess that counts as fleeing prey. Speed run. Let's go. Who's a little chonky boy? You think you're so threatening, but I can stare at you all day. I think there's a large rock behind me, though. I'm trying to see how long I can look away. Yep, there's the rock. Once again, I find myself navigating with my ass. Hold on. I actually don't know where to go. Okay, that's a wall. Maybe I should look around before I pick up that badge. Because I, like, kind of got stuck. It's not even going to give me an option, is it? Oh, no. Never mind. I thought it was slowing me down because it's like, no, you can't go that way. Oh, I actually do have to jump up here. Okay. I should inspect the corpse before moving on. I should trigger the event before I actually leave. I mean, having to do, like, a raptor stare down here, a dominance test of wills, 
is more interesting than just getting eaten by it or running away from it, you know? Okay, I think we're safe to look away now. Which is good, because I don't know how to get up here properly. <laughs> I'll be safe up here. Raptors can't climb or jump. Music does seem to be a talent of this developers if they did the music as well, which the main menu said they did. This place is not safe. I gotta find a way out of this island or else I'm going to die. And that would be bad. Ooh, rock. Oh, okay, I gotta float it in front of my face. I was like, it says throw, but I didn't actually pick it up. A red raptor? Fuck <laughs> uh, I fucked that up. What do you mean crouch to move it silently? It was looking right at me. You remember that one really bad raptor demo where it was literally just like a circle of grass that you were supposed to sneak past raptors in? Okay, now the problem is, what do I do once I've been spotted like this? I gotta hold out my hands like Chris Pratt. Everyone knows that works well against wild animals. There was a good joke in Camp Cretaceous where the... Especially arrogant kid Kenji tries to, to Im imitate <laughs> the hands out raptor pose, and it just flat out does not work. Well, I can't attack, he's looking at me. He says, don't run and don't look away, but like, how am I supposed to get through this area like this? <laughs> if I back out of their territory, it'll stop chasing me. It'll leash back to where it has to be. Dramatic music is still going, but he actually did lose interest. I'm gonna laugh when he just fucking immediately sprints to me when I pass this line. Like, I remember that you're there. This is a really bad place to have to sneak through, though. It's just rocks and openness. Nah, it's probably for the best. It takes too long to back away. I gotta find a way out of this island, so I'm gonna go through the most dangerous place I can find. So yeah, they have pretty good eyesight. For a mandatory stealth section. I know I gotta throw rocks, but it doesn't even give me much of a chance to. I thought that would keep him busy enough that I could get to this rock, but at any second he can move a little bit and he'll see me.
I do appreciate they make their own weird sounds that are not just Jurassic Park knockoff sounds. I mean, yeah, they make hissing, but that's pretty generic compared to some of the roars. It's funny because I'm pretty sure that they have binocular vision in terms of, like, the way the gameplay works here, even though they very clearly do not have binocular vision. So he should be able to see me from the side when he's walking <laughs> past me. Okay, I really thought I was going to get spotted there by the one coming back. These three raptors just patrol around this area for some reason. There's nothing to eat here. But for some reason, they don't want to leave and actually hunt. Maybe they live here. Thank you for playing. <laughs> well, that's the demo. So there's not a lot there, but I did want to check it out as something smaller than some of the other stuff I'm going to be looking at. So thank you for joining me for this very short demo dip in the Fallen World, and who knows if this will ever come out, but you know, I'll keep an eye out in case it does. Until next time, you folks all take care.